I wasn't ready. I wasn't. I didn't mean to hit start, but you're here. Damn. Damn. I'm not ready. I got to go get my mic. Well, hello, everybody. Mark Holmes here. Sorry, I uh, didn't mean to start because I wasn't ready. Forgot my microphone. Let me clean off the mic because that's what we do. Lola, what's up? Albert Smith, Angelica Baron, how are you doing? What we cooking? I don't know. I'm just going to throw some shit together, but I'm going to start out. I actually started doing some stuff before you guys got here. To save some time, I took some cauliflower that I had still in the fridge, and it's not as much as I thought it was, and I roasted it. So what I did was I took and cut it up into little florets and um, tossed it with a little bit of salt, and boy, that's really not much. Tossed it with a little bit of salt, and... Um, See if I can keep from burning myself. Um, and a little bit of olive oil. And I roasted it for about 35 minutes. Just to make it kind of crispy. I wish I had actually had more, but it had like two half heads. So I'm going to put this in this little baby pan here. Yeah, it's not as much as I thought it was going to be. But I'm trying to use up all my veggies that I have in the fridge because I don't want to waste anything because Lord knows you can't waste anything these days. How's everybody doing right now? So here's what we're going to do. See my roasted? Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? This is going to be like a mac and cheese. It's just not going to be a lot of it. So we're going to make a cheesy ass sauce to go with it. I got some chicken breast pieces here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to actually make fried chicken. I got half a box of mushrooms that are left over, so I'm going to saute the mushrooms and put some of my mama's green beans in there. And so that's what we're going to have for dinner. And, of course, the, the, the fattier pieces of the, of the chicken breast. This is for you, Roscoe. That's right. I didn't forget about you, buddy. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I need to get me some eggs. I got a lot to do in here. I need some eggs because I need to make an egg wash. Now... The problem, if I had been smart, but you guys would have seen what I've done, would have been for me to have actually done the chicken breading ahead of time and put it in the refrigerator. Because ultimately what happens is, what, what, what happens is the breading will fall off, especially when you, sounds like what? Wait a minute, sounds like what? Oh, sounds good. Um, uh, hopefully the sound, hopefully you're not getting a you know, hakama hakama when I'm talking here. Um, if you end up breading the chicken and putting it in the fridge for a half hour or an hour, it'll kind of stick to it a little bit better. But I ain't got that kind of time. But I've got a couple of eggs and i got some water in here. See, I've got a nice egg wash here for the chicken. Okay. I got that. Now. We're going to make our breading. 
Let's see. Hmm. Now using this one for the mac and cheese. What I'm going to do is I got, we tested it. Hot and spicy ones. Hot and spicy um, pork skins. The thing about pork skins is it takes a lot of pork skins when you do stuff. A lot. It don't really amount to much. It, it just doesn't. In fact, I'm going to kind of pre-chop that some. So look at that. You, 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 it, oh, come closer. Look at that. That's it. That's all we got right there. That, that, ain't that a shame? Ain't that a shame? Look at that. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to try something crazy. I'm going to put some of this Parmesan cheese in here. And I'm going to grab me some more pork skin. Pre-grind them up a little bit, try and help, help the machine out just a little bit. Get in there. Get in there. Don't fight me. Get in there. Look at, look at that. Isn't that a shame? Money just don't go nowhere no more. Now, these are actually spicy ones because, you know, I'm spicy. All right. Let's put a little more cheese in there. And then we're going to blend this sucker. Let's see if we got our bread together. Okay. We're going to use some almond flour too. I'm not crazy about the almond flour, but you, you just need some more. I may have put too much in here. It's not trying to close. Okay. it up a little bit so it gets down into it. It's getting there. I gotta shake, shake, shake what your mama gave you. Okay. I think I put too much in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good. Ooh, that's good, actually. Okay. Take a little of that out. I stuffed it too much. See, this is the problem of doing this stuff live. It's hard. Shake it up a little bit. That was fun. Yeah. So this is the bad thing about the pork rinds is they're kind of greasy. So it has a tendency to skip a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Pork skins. Love it. All right, so we got that in there. Might need a bigger container than this one. Just a little bit. So, that's what we got right now. Look at that. All right, so I need a bigger thing because it's going to be spilling over when I put the other stuff in it. I usually like these flatter containers to do it in, but I'll just do it in this. Okay. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's good. We're going to add some keto flour. Where's my keto flour? Chia seeds, coconut, macadamia nuts. Ah, keto baking flour. Okay. I got too much keto shit in there. All right, so I'm going to put 
a little almond flour in there just to say that I put a little in there just to give me a little extra breading and then we're going to season it up a bit I like to put some of my slap your mama sauce in there give it a little extra bite to it some garlic salt and remember we use spicy uh, pork skins and some fresh pepper all right we got you see what we got look at this doesn't that, doesn't that look good missed a little spot there but look at that mix this up real good and then we're going to put our egg wash and our chicken into it and we're going to get to that started because this is going to take about 20 minutes to cook this and then we got to make our sauce for the um the mac and cheese and that's going to take about 15 minutes to cook too but i want to get the chicken started because you can only put so much in the uh what you call it okay all right so let's get this chicken started in here just going to basically take the chicken put it in the egg wash dip it in the flour here turn it on over boom just bread it real nice look at that kind of like the color here oh sorry let's turn that down here dip it in there Look at that. Mmm. That's breaded real good. Dun 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 dun. We're breading it. Breading it real good. This time I've got plenty of it. Now this is kind of the same way that I did the fish. And the fish, oh my god, the fish was so good. Oh, the fish was delicious. I've got more fish in the freezer. I'm gonna probably do that. Boy, you're kind of jaggedy, ain't you? Now, I don't know about you guys, but growing up, we used to have chickens at my parents' house, okay? We had chickens. And the chickens, their breasts didn't get this big. I don't know what they do to the chickens these days, but I ain't never seen a chicken. I don't know if they're bodybuilder chickens or what, but I actually took the chicken breast and I actually sliced it three times. Uh, th three times, okay? This is, look at that. And it's still thick as can be. They're giving me some damn steroids or some shit. I'll tell you that. So you can see, I can only probably put about three, maybe four of these pieces of chicken in at a time to cook. So that's why I want to get the chicken going first because uh, I don't want to wait. I mean, look at that. That's a big piece of chicken. That, that's the daddy piece of chicken. So when you're the daddy, you're supposed to get the big piece of chicken. I'm sure Jerry Jones gets the big piece of chicken. Look at that. We got some big pieces. Do I have enough? Look at all that bread went that fast. Damn. The only bad thing about when you're doing the chicken here is the chicken I mean the uh, breading is very very wet and it gets very very thick on there and it sticks to everything except of course when you're cooking then it don't stick see look at that. that's more like it's already wet right there but there's not much I can do about it but try and get some on it try and get the last bit on this one this one's gonna be lacking just a little bit because I ain't got no more so it's just gonna be like that it's something in the watermark is that what it is okay all right so now we touch raw chicken we got to wash our hands real good get rid of the egg actually slide all of that over in there All right, I'm going to put some chicken in. Hey, Lola, what's up, Miss Hot Sauce? I'm going to put some chicken in and get that started, and then I'm going to do all the other good stuff. So I'm actually going to grab some tong to tong tong tongs and put those up in here. 
let me see. I got olive oil cooking spray. I'm gonna put a little of that to help it keep from sticking. And I'm gonna grab me some chicken to put in there. Are you ready? Let's see how many pieces I can get in there. If I can get four in there, I'd be happy as pie. I got three. If I get a small one, I can get it in there. Okay. All right. I got four in there. Okay. Well, I'll set you there. And let's see if I can remember how to turn this damn thing on. This thing's complicated. Start. Air. Time. Let's see. Air crisp. 390 time 20 minutes bam all right so that's set okay let's get started on making the sauce now okay shout out to everybody we got chicken already cooking we've got the florence already ready to go and i'm going to turn on my front burner here and i'm going to start melting a little bit of butter because everything's got to have butter i know i should be using ghee butter but ghee is damn expensive. I ain't got money for that, man. I ain't got ghee money. So I'm going to use some regular butter because this is broke-ass media doing broke-ass keto. All right. We're going to make a little sauce. I'm going to put about a, two tablespoons of butter in here and start getting that to melt. We're about to get cheesy on it now. I got some Velveeta. Now, here's what's cool about Velveeta. It's processed cheese. I'll give you that. But Velveeta, let's get the nutritional facts. Check it out. Per serving, zero fiber, only three grams of carbs, two grams of sugar. It's okay. We can use that. So I'm going to take some Velveeta. I'm going to melt that with the butter. And then I'm going to be adding some cheddar cheese. I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese and heavy cream because we're going to be saucy. We're going to be real saucy. Put, boom, good chunk of that, because like I said, I love cheese. Yeah, Cal uh, Cali, California, how you doing today, man? Wait, you said Jerry was, oh yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Jerry Jones is my daddy. I'm claiming it. Don't I look like Jerry Jones? I mean, if Philly 500 can look like Denzel Washington, why can't I look like Jerry Jones? All right, that's beginning to melt. That's going to start melting, and then we're going to add, after that starts going, we're going to add some more of the other cheeses, and we're going to add um, heavy cream. Now, over here, we're going to add a little bit of butter to this one, too, because we're going to take our mushrooms, and we're going to saute that as well. Okay, gonna get that. We've got some garlic because garlic is the slice, 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 spice of life, and we're gonna get that chopping up in here too. Where's my big butcher knife? And I do more than just make a whole lot of dishes because I, I know I've made a lot of dishes in here, but hey, it is what it is. Good news is, we got the dishwasher fixed. The repairman came with the new parts. Yay! After all the time of waiting. So we can throw all the stuff in the dishwasher. Yay! Alright, I hear the chicken cooking. Got our garlic because garlic butter mushrooms all that goes together great so i chopped up my garlic my butter is beginning to melt i see my cheese and my butter is beginning to melt over there we're getting going now while that's melting i'm going to start washing my mushrooms i know who is it that doesn't like mushrooms who is that that does not like the mushrooms
Is that you, Joanne, that doesn't like the mushrooms? Mushrooms are good for you, girl. Or is that Lola? All right, we got 15 minutes left on the chicken. Woohoo! Okay. Wh who is it that doesn't like the mushrooms? Angelica, I'm going to make you a mushroom lover. I'm going to make you love some mushrooms, girl. Get that garlic in here. Get that butter melted. gets going and add those mushrooms so we'll get this cheese melting here all right Velveeta is beginning to melt yay get our heavy cream oh boy now this is where this is gonna get good guys this is gonna get good you're not gonna be expecting this you're not going to be expecting it. All right, got that going. We got our cheese beginning to melt. Now, guess what we're going to add to that cheese? If I can find it. Bacon! We're going to add a little bacon to it. Woo! This is some of my bacon that I had in the fridge. Because we want to have bacon in it. If the damn cheese would start melting a little bit, it would be good shape. And we have to add... Cream cheese. Boom. I'm a messy cook today. All right, we got our cream cheese in here. We got our Velveeta cheese. We got our bacon. And once that starts melting, we're going to add our heavy cream and let that get warm and then we're going to add our other cheeses and we're going to put all this on top of the uh, cauliflower and we got our mushrooms that are beginning to saute oh yeah they're beginning to saute real good that's good we got our cheddar cheese we have our mozzarella cheese and i have some uh, mama's string beans that she grew herself that i'm going to drain you can use fresh string beans, that would be great, but I had some of my mama's, and I love my mama's. We got 12 minutes left on the chicken. See, it's beginning to get there. Don't want to heat it up too fast and too hot so it scorches. Nice and low and slow is fine. I no wonder I have it on the wrong one. Damn. All right, now we got it cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. See, that's beginning to melt real good. Got the bacon, got the cream cheese, got the Velveeta. 
And of course, we're going to have the sauce, the uh, heavy cream that's going to mix with that, as well as with the about a half a cup of the heavy cream. Start stirring that in there, let it start warming up, and then we'll start adding some more of the cheese. That I can turn down because we got time. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! The lumps will melt out of this as soon as it warms up a little more. Start putting in my mozzarella. Some of my cheddar cheese. Bam! And some Parmesan cheese, because we cheesy like that. We cheesy. We cheesy. Now you put these away at least. You're going to learn today. Look at that. That's a cheese sauce there, guys. Look at that. Mm. All right. Cheese sauce. Just got to warm just a little bit more. We have our cauliflower here that's been roasted. Going to add just a little bit of pepper and salt to this. Doesn't really need much for this because the garlic and the butter, and um, that's just a good natural flavor to it. And I'm going to turn that down on low. This just needs to warm up just a little bit more. I might need to put just a little bit more sauce in it. I mean, uh, it's a little bit too cheesy. I might need to add just a little bit more um, heavy cream to that. But look, Ooh, it's getting there. Look at that. Cheese, oh, cheese and bacon. Look at that. Oh, Nelly. It's going to be cheesy. Just a little bit more. There we go. That loosened it up a little bit. Nice cheese sauce. Nice thick cheese sauce. All right. So going to take this. Boom. I wish I actually had more because I got more cheese than I do cauliflower. This is going to be a cheese, cheese dish. But what we're going to do, we're going to take some of the pork skin. Crumble that on top of it. A little bit more of our bacon. Just a little bacon. And I have some smoked paprika that this guy makes. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of smoked paprika on there. 
Boom. And there we go. We're going to put this in the oven for a few minutes to let that marry up. We've got that ready. And we've got the macaroni and cheese together. We are good to go. And we got five minutes left on the chicken. Let me taste the cheese. Mm. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that cheese. Oh, just a little bit left in there. Mm. Look at That's cheesy. That's cheesy, guys. Okay. While I'm waiting, I'm going to get ahead on the dishes. Try and clear some of this mess out so I won't have a hard time. That's right, when you're broke ass media, you don't have somebody else to clean the kitchen. So, anything I can do now gets me a little bit closer to being finished later. So that's a good start. All right, we got four minutes left on the chicken. Four minutes left and counting. We've got our string beans and mushrooms done. And I need to probably get a plate to put the chicken on. Are you tired? I, I, I'm tired. I'm real tired, boss. It's been one of those interesting days because, you know, everybody in the NFL is signing players left and right except for the Cowboys. The Cowboys, of course, you know, we can't sign a punter. Here it is. There's rumors that Gronk. Here we are that Gronk is rumored to be going to the Rams. And we can't sign a punter. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you, buddy. I'm glad that you got so many views. But does it really matter um, that you, you call it your channel when it's all about me? So isn't that really my views? Because you are so pathetic, you won't even put yourself into your own videos. So how can you call it your channel? Because it's all about me, bro. But that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, get back to me when you get over 600 subscribers like this channel has. All right, we're getting close, guys. We're getting closer than close. I still have yet to do the cheesecake. All right, two minutes left to rock this fun. I'm dumb. I don't even look at the, the title of a lot. Thanks, Angelica. Bye, Frank. Okay. We, we, you know we got to get you slap your mama. Oh, I'm wondering, Lola, should I open up your ghost pepper? Nah, that, 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 that's, that's too spicy. That's too spicy. Um, what's up, Ray? How are you doing? Yeah, it's fried chicken. Well, it's keto, which is really cauliflower. Okay, it's cauliflower uh, stuff. I wish I'd had more cauliflower because there's more cheese than anything else. But I also have string beans and mushrooms. And in a minute 20, a minute 20, we're going to be pulling out some chicken. Heat is flavor. Justin, I'm doing good, man. I'm, I'm feeling good. I've, I've been a great day. The Cowboys have done nothing other than um, nothing. And everybody else in the NFL has been doing a whole lot. I've got all kinds of work. Uh, you're, you're doing great. You're out camping? Nice. Where are you camping at? 
in the woods. Duh. Okay. Um, good stuff, Mark. Big fan. Appreciate that. Man, I, you know, it's always nice to have fans as well as stalkers, too. It, it, it's, it's cool to have. As long as they're watching, that's all that really matters, isn't it? Isn't that what they say? All right. We got 35 seconds to check this stuff out. 35 seconds. And then I'm going to rotate. So we're going to check this out and see. We're going to see if our chicken is a winner, winner, chicken dip. We're going to see if our chicken's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah, okay. King Mega, what's up, man? I'm cooking some fried chicken. I'm making some cauliflower mac and cheese. And I'm doing some fried chicken and string beans and mushrooms. Well, yeah, Jerry in the pole. Oh, wow. You know what? While we're waiting here, this is about, oh, it's cooling down. You notice there's a Lake Comanche, nice. There's a double standard. It was almost comical to me that with Amari Cooper, all of that stuff was all over the place, right? You know, they, they, they've done videos of Amari Cooper and said Amari Cooper is taking plays off. And if you guys remember, like Des Bryant, back when they had the Des Bryant that there might be a video out there and Everybody was talking about that and going crazy, right? Now that there's Jerry Jones with an issue, they're, they're, they're saying that it's a private issue. I was like, wait a minute. It's a private issue and we shouldn't be talking, you know, leave Jerry alone. But I'm kind of like, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Earl Thomas. All right. Look, guys. What do you think? Does that look like some fried chicken breast there? Ooh. Ooh. Let me check and see how my mac and cheese is. It needs to brown a little bit on the top. Mmm. That's not quite ready yet. It's not quite. It, it needs It needs just a little bit more. Um, okay, so who's coming to the DMV? It's coming to DMV whenever you... Oh, okay, cool. We'll be here. We'll be doing a um, tailgate, of course. Okay, so Earl Thomas and his stuff all over the place, right? Earl Thomas, uh, that, but, but Jerry Jones, no, 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 no. The media is not talking about that, right? But let me ask another one here. Okay, so Calvin Ridley. I believe Calvin Ridley betting on the games, even though it's only $1,900, he should be banned from playing football. I have a question in the integrity of football now because you know, you've you got gambling and everybody's in bed with it, right? Calvin Ridley suspended for a year, right? How about Miami's owner? Wasn't Miami's owner trying to have Brian Flores throw games and he was going to bribe him $100,000 per game for everyone they lost? Calvin Ridley, $1,900. Oh, no. You're done for the next year. Maybe for life. Miami owner, was there even an investigation? Can somebody explain that one to me? I I'm just trying to understand. I'm, I'm not trying to be an ass or anything like that, but just saying. Have you ever camped at Lake Comanche? I don't know where Lake Comanche is. I'm assuming that that's out west. Have you ever camped at Point Lookout? First place I went camping at as a kid with my parents. Yeah, that's on the Chesapeake Bay and Potomac River. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm just, all we're waiting here for is we're waiting for the mac and cheese. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try a piece of this chicken because it looked pretty good right now. So we're gonna get a piece of chicken, and let me hope that it, let me make sure it's done because this piece is kind of thick. Oh man! Oh man! Look! Oh, look at that! That's look at oh oh oh! Hold on! I gotta put some Lola on there. Look at that. Whew. 
Look at that chicken. Mm. That's good. The spicy um damn the spicy uh pork skins definitely have a kick to it. And here, look at it. There is our mac and cheese, which is cauliflower. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll put this aside first. I want to make a plate here. My taste tester. Those green beans right there. That look good now that looks like that looks like a, a sunday fried chicken eating kind of day though oh okay okay all right let, let me let me check and see how the what the wife thinks on it all right taste tester that is my cauliflower mac and cheese with bacon. Do you want any hot sauce for the chicken? You should have a couple of drops. Taste it, and I need your response. All right, let's see what the wife thinks. Mm. Say what? My wife said the cauliflower tastes like a baked potato, and she loves baked potatoes. All right, see the uh, putting the crunch on top of it. I think that's going to be the ticket. But look at that! Oh, Nelly, hold it. Let me turn that off. Oh my goodness! I got to put hot sauce because I love my hot sauce. And you can't just stop with just one kind of hot sauce. You got to have two colors on there. And I'm going to cut my chicken up. All right, so if you're on keto, we showed you, you can have your pasta. You can have your fried chicken. And my wife says, my cauliflower, Mac, tastes like, look at that. Oh, the what? My wife said the chicken is delicious. Look at look at that, guys. What do you mean? I cooked it in the no in the um your your thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Damn. That's some good shit. Oh my god. All right. They're hot. Mm. Chicken with some hot sauce is great. Let's try the cauliflower. Look at that. Mmm. Yeah. This is a good straight up keto. A cheat? No. Honey, cheese is keto. My wife's like, this feels like a cheat. The breading is uh, the skins. There are no carbs in this baby. <laughs> Dude, you don't know what carbo, you, you don't know what keto is, dude. Carbo is, uh, excuse me, keto is no sugar, no carbs. Chicken breast, no carbs. The breading on here, cooked in a um, air fryer, is made out of pork skins. No carbs in pork skins. Cauliflower, cauliflower, no carbs. Cheese. 
No carbs. So yes. This is keto. But since you know everything, then tell me what in here is not car what in here is not keto. Please. Clearly you're the expert on everything. I'm, w I'm waiting and enjoying my dinner. Mm. With this, with this breading, um, put a little bit more spice in here. Put a little bit more cayenne um, in it, and maybe a little more paprika. And this would be. You can make almost like a spicy chicken sandwich. You get the keto buns. Oh man! Put some mayonnaise with it, dude. This just open. This just opened up a whole new avenue for me. But I'll need to get need to find out where I can buy pork skins already ground. I'm surprised that somebody hasn't already started doing pork skins pre ground as a breading. Me and my wife were at the store today, and we're like. Why doesn't somebody come up with the keto breading for that? The almond flour just does not do it as good. The almond flour does not get crunchy like this does. And that's the thing that I always miss with keto is having that crunch. This chicken with the pork skins on it has definitely got a feel, a texture, and a look. The only thing is it's a little, it looks a little bit reddish in comparison. And when you look at, look at the cauliflower. Look at that. The bacon and the cauliflower, the uh, pork skins on top of it. Can you hear it? It's got a crunch to it. Mmm. So... We've done another day. Sticking with keto. I guess dude will be out running to do another video. That'll be, he doesn't actually do keto. He doesn't know what keto is. I look forward to that one. Hmm. John Gardner sending me a whole bunch of stuff. And something else must be transpiring. Look at that chicken. Look at that. Mm. Chicken parmesan. Cook the chicken like this. <clears throat> Get some sugar-free tomato sauce and some parmesan cheese. Put it in the oven for a few minutes so it melts. Bam! You got a chicken parmesan. How about that? Mm. So, David... I miss you, bro. I miss you. But look. Keto fried chicken. Look at that, man. David, look. Pork skins. Hmm. That filled me up. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So. That's all I got for you guys today. Got eight minutes left for the next batch of chicken. And um, got to go back out to the shop and do some more painting. Got some more pieces that were, oh, here, I tell you what. Come on outside. Come on out here while that's cooking. I'm very proud of what I do. I know our buddy in here says that my wife just married a handyman. Because I bet you a lot of women out there would like to marry a man. Who knows how to cook and can do stuff so this is a puerto rican flag i just got the first coat of white on here that we're going to end up doing i have over here this is actually a military officer i have to still sand it off and i've got to paint like his uh stripes and stuff on here i gotta paint the stars and stuff on here this will be red and red and white right in there so that'll be nice i have this one for a gentleman whose son has autism, and he's a fan of the Joe Boo Sports Report, so we're doing that one. And then we have these. These are actually already 
done. Tomorrow I'll be able to edge them. So check those out. Well, right. Well, with that one, yeah, we got to get the air bubbles. Okay. And okay. then um, we have some what? Breaking news? No, but they have it on Amazon. What, pork? Yeah, ground pork. Ground pork? They, they have ground pork? Were you watching my video? I looked up on Amazon. Oh, okay. Look, Mike now, found out. They got ground pork. Go get it. Yes, for keto. For keto, okay. <sighs> Simba. I'm getting better at painting these things, too. And, of course, some of the other ones. So, those, um, that, that's what I do. I, I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. And, of course, the slimiest person in the world, according to uh, you know who, my favorite troll that just loves me. Mike, uh, some more of the chicken will be done in uh, about six minutes. All right, so Mike found out they have ground pork, they've got ground pork skins on Amazon, ground up. It may be, how much uh, is it? Mm, I used two bags though tonight, so that was six dollars. Eight ounces. Okay, I, I'll figure it out. I, I'll, you know what? I'll get it and try it. Oh, also, too. <laughs> Jeez, uh oh. Twinski or Twinkie. What's up, man? Um, Teach Jerry Jones how to be a father. That's funny. I got some keto ice cream that I'm going to do a taste test on later, too, um, at Walmart. It is. Only thing was, I was out for a while, so it thawed out some. So I hope it's not like turned to, to, to nothing. But this is like peanut butter fudge ice cream keto. And, of course, I always love mint chocolate chips. So I got mint chocolate chip, too. So we're going to do a taste test on those tonight. And see how it goes. So, oh, I've actually already cooked. You, you, you're in kind of late. Here's what I did. Okay, you, you're, you're kind of coming in. At the tail end, Mike, if you actually want to get some of the chicken right now, we did some keto fried chicken, okay, in the uh, uh, air fryer, and we did cauliflower, look at this, this is cauliflower mac and cheese with bacon, bacon, it's got bacon on it, cheesy, very, very cheesy, and then we had string beans and mushrooms. Angelica Baron does not like the mushrooms. She she does not. I'm, I'm going to make you a mushroom fan. I'm going to make you a mushroom fan. You know what, Angelica? I'm going to do some crab stuffed mushrooms with Parmesan cheese. How about that? I bet you you'd like those. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you bet you you'd like those. So that's what we got for dinner today. I'm about to pull out some more in about four minutes left. And... Um, the chicken was good. The chicken, look, 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 how could you not like, look at those mushrooms there. Angelica, look at that. Mm. So Street Tacos are really good. I was disappointed in DC one time. We we're working at Smithsonian and this food truck, the, the lady came out, oh, we're gonna give you a sample. So they gave us a sample of the chicken. Street taco. I was like, okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to give them a try. And so I said, I want the shrimp tacos. And I've never been so disappointed in my life. You know when they have the, the shrimp that are literally this big? The frozen ones? They literally had the little baby shrimp like this that were the frozen ones. No seasoning. Literally, it was like they thawed it out and they put that on there and called it a street taco. I was like, you got to be kidding me. You, 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 you got to be kidding me. You didn't even cook the shrimp yourself. You didn't put any seasoning on it. I said, man, this is the, this is a, some, just some nasty ass shit. So anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys spending the last 55 minutes here with me um, while I cook the dinner. Hope you guys uh, that, that you liked some of the recipes that, that we're doing. And if you have some tips and things that you want me to try, by all means, let me know because um, I don't I don't pretend to know everything. And I believe you learn till the day you die if you're open minded to it. And everybody out there can teach me something. And that includes, you know, that troll right there. He's taught me a lot. He's taught me not to hate others. He's taught me not to be a prick and an asshole. And I appreciate that. So thank you very much. You know who you are. And as always, 
Angelica, Lola, Aisha, David Wiley, King Mega, um, Twinkie, Twinkie, you're in here too. Um, Cali, California, what's up? I I like weed, all of you guys, and anybody else that I forgot. I appreciate you guys being here and helping to support me because trying to keep up with this makes me do keto that much better. And I will see you guys, God willing, tomorrow morning. Peace. So 